you must know that you, you and I, we have the right. Please hear me. It's not a privilege. When I say right, I mean it's not a privilege. We have the right to expect and experience divine favor. It's a, you have a bad right. Because a lot of things we have, Christianity has, in, has become a begging religion. We are begging constantly. We don't even know what rights we have. Come on, let the events of the world, especially in the United States, paint a picture of your rights. There is difference between a right and a privilege. By the first amendment in the Constitution of the United States that is over 200 years old, people have the right to protest. It's not a privilege that somebody has given them, okay, I allow you to protest. No, it's their right. And that's what they are fighting for. That's what they are, that we have the right to protest. I have the right to be on the street and carry placards. So when I say favor is a right, that means it's worth fighting for. It's not a privilege that you are begging. If you are born again, then it's your right. Just like healing is your right. Just like prosperity is your right. You don't beg for what is your right. When they ask me, in those days when I was going to, we call it primary school, but it's elementary here, they ask you, whose son are you? I say, my name is Adeyemi Ogunsoya. I don't beg my father to let me use his name. I was born with the right to that name. I didn't consult him before I write my name. In fact, I did not consult him before I took his car and drove it. I saw the right I have to whatever he has. So there was one day he was sleeping. I just took his uh, car and drove it out. And he woke up, he couldn't find his car. Thank God I didn't have an accident. It's a right. I remember daddy in Chicago would say, in those days, his son, he's a young, fine young man now, we enter, because daddy has been blessed with a number of wrist watches. People have given him some good ones. So he has them in his room. And uh, when it is Sunday, if I would just go into his room and pick one and use. Just like my daughter is using now. And doing now, she would just go into her mother's closet and they have the same, almost the same size. And she just pick, mommy, which one are you wearing? And she, she, she will pick her own. It's a right. And I've never seen her crawling and say, mommy, please, can I just please, only your scarf? No. And she takes it with an attitude. She has an, she, she, we must, Christians must understand what right means. So you approach God based on what God has provided for you. But God, that's why I said, come boldly. Come confidently to the throne of grace. Favor is your right. Now, if you take nothing out of this teaching today, remember, favor is your right. Favor must come at you from every side this month and beyond. Demand it. Declare it. Expect it. Did you hear me? You demand it. You declare it. And you expect it. Because it's your right. 